question for you. I want to know uh, what are the things that you have in common with Karina and what are the things that you are just the opposite and uh, if there is anything that Karina, <laughs> the, the character of Karina um, teaches you. I go with the one that I don't have in common because it's a very clear one for me. She really desperately wants kids and I really do not. <laughs> <laughs> so when they pitch that storyline to me, they were like, Karina is going to be wanting to have kids and Maya is not going to want them. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, Karina is going to really, really, really want to have kids. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> So I try to channel the love that I have for my dog, for Jeff, <laughs> onto the desire to have children. And so that's the main thing that I don't have in common with Karina. Per gli italiani, la cosa che non ha in comune con Mamma Ford, con Mamma Ticana. Non è uguale, perché lo sto traducendo per te. La cosa che non ha in comune con Karina è il fatto che lei vuole tanto avere figli e io, io sto in Dania. Um, and Misha, the thing that I do have in common with her, I feel like there's a lot of little things. The fact that I, I'm very, very matter of fact, so if somebody, I don't know, I feel like Karina is very good at being like, you know what, this is a situation, this can be a solution, if not, we speak on it and maybe the thing is going to solve itself. So it's not somebody that stresses out over things. Se il personaggio cosa ti ha insegnato il personaggio di Karina, se ti ha insegnato qualcosa. Sì. Poi ancora di più a non essere a non avere paura di chi sei, di come sei, di quello che provi. And so she taught me a lot about like not being afraid to show who you are and in your flaws and in your and in the good aspects, but I feel like she doesn't hide anything. And but she she like embraces her dark side and makes it part of herself and she's not ashamed of it and I feel like I, I aim to do that too. There's things that I don't like, there's things that I like and it's okay, we're all different. We all like and dislike different things and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quando le, le, um, ti arrivava un copione, sì. sempre di facciamo Grace Anatomy Session 19, sì. quando ci infilavano sempre qualche parola di italiano, mm -hmm. ti è mai capitato di, di guardarli e dire ma noi non diciamo così? Sì, a voglia. <ride> <ride> ma le cambio tutte, le metto, le metto sempre io. Cioè loro le mettono come referenza, è quasi come per darmi il permesso di dire la parola in italiano e poi vado e ci faccio quello. La maggior parte delle volte mi dicono Stefania, She says, damn it, in Italian, so... <ride> non traduco direttamente io, però no, gli scrittori sono meravigliosi in questo senso, adesso si fidano molto. Le prime volte mi controllavano. Cosa c'è che ho detto? Questo, hai detto la parolaccia? No, non ho detto niente. Perché alcune parole in italiano suonano come parolacce in inglese. Non mi ricordo cos'era, nella prima, prima puntata di Grace Anatomy c'era questo litigio con... con Especially when there was Andrea, 
because Jesse Williams directed an episode where we were arguing, and Jesse was like, okay, now start swearing. No, but finally they chose the Italian actor. Finally, because yeah. uh, when you see, when you watch uh, the American TV show in original language and you find Italian, there are never Italian. No. You see the accent is so, so horrible. horrible. So finally we have Italian actor. Yeah. Yeah. I always tell this story. I feel like I was in the room on, for the audition for Grace. I was the first person to go into the audition room and the rest of the room was full of there was a Brazilian girl, there was a Colombian girl, there was a Spanish girl, all going for the Italian character. So I was like, come on! <laughs> there is a difference. I mean, I get it, we're all like laughing, exotic, but it's just like, yeah.